UNSC Infinity's AI. We're going to study the historical battles in hopes of increasing your tactical skills for the future. As a bonus, it's a pretty fun game you can play in your spare time. So let's get to it. Hello guys, how's it going? This is Isaac Pendragon and welcome to Halo Spot on Assault. And I, <coughs> this is the top this is the top-down shooter version of the Halo franchise, and since I haven't played any Halo games since Halo 2, I just want to play it. And it's, it's, it's also been sold cheap in Steam, so why the hell not? So anyway, I, I've been. It, this is a this is some kind of a simulator that that runs within the within the Spartan group, as you can see in the, on the previous cutscene. And we are going to play it right now. Oh, by the way, I also I've played it once. Uh, just for the, just for the, <laughs> you know, scouting mission. And so I will go play the movie for you guys. Here you go. I'll stay silent. Loading up records for the Battle of Drathius V. The fighting started when a splinter sect of Covenant ignored the ceasefire of 2552 and attacked UNSC forces. By the time the fighting was done, well, it didn't end well for the UNSC or the Covenant. Either one. Spartans Davis and Palmer were both stationed on Drathius V's moon at the time of the first attack. Let's see how they succeeded in repelling the first assault waves. Alright, that was the cutscene. Now we are going to repel the first wave of the Mirror Mantle counter assault. X-50s use research as well as the Mirror Flats were flanked by towering ice. Oh, sorry, this is the second mission, sorry. This is the assault on CF-32, northern continent of X-50, Dreyfus 5 moon was riddled with large ice-covered sinkhole, but the UNSC conducted a number of research projects while there were sort of blah 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 blah, you can just read it yourself if you want to play it. <laughs> okay, or, or you can pause it, okay, you can just pause the video, I'm going to display it right here, there you go. And now we're going to play this first mission. Now we're going to use, it. now we're going to customize our loadout. This is the primary weapon, secondary weapon, armor, ability, and booster. We could use, we could buy different different types of upgrades using experience points that we can that we accumulate every time we complete a mission. Now this is our basic. It's just a it's just a free weapon, assault ri assault rifle, damage per shot low, rate of fire high. But we can upgrade it with sniper rifles, Spartan rifle, and rocket launcher. And there's also the armor ability. It's actually the, it's actually very good already. The regeneration field is for the shield for for your shield regeneration. It will do a very fast regeneration rate. And there's also auto sentry over shield seeker drone with with each of their respective experience points cost. And you can also upgrade the secondary weapon. And also you can get the booster. Now I'm not sure if we no okay. <laughs> I I got I got too fast on that. There's also the handicap options, so you can get. Bonus multiplier for your experience point, like for like for instance, is there's a hollow mode is part of only has a shield, so there's no health bar, and then the shield armor deployed when firing weapon, uh, and the drop weapon of muscles ammo, shield on recharge when melee, melee attacking enemies. Is, 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 this one's actually hard, and there's the hard mode. Enemies are more challenging, and there's also vital health elements are are hidden, so there's practically no health on your on your screen. But I'm going to take these two because these winning ones are the most the most balanced one in my opinion. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to lose some bonus multiplier if I choose more if I choose a booster. But let's just, let's just try this one. Damage booster, uh, score booster. Let's just go pick score booster. Standard issue. Let's like, okay. Confirm. Nope. We don't lose anyone. Oh, by the way, if we purchase an upgrade, we can only use it on the. On your next mission, so it will be lose. It will be lost after this one's this one's clear. And without further ado, let's go with the game. Press space power, click left. Press it button. All right, Spartans, prepare for battle. Come on, where's the enemies at? Just basic runs. If you play the hero fight, yes, you sure know about these guys. Coward bastard. Very weak cover press. I see they're running already. <laughs> we can also throw grenades by the way. Using right click. And I actually forgot how to change the second weapon. But whatever. 
I don't think we're going to need it very soon. Oh, he's still alive. I thought he's dead. Okay. Kilimanjaro. Oh, cool. It's actually a name of mountain. I'm already running out of ammo. Okay, uh, there's a Covenant Elite that already goes boom. And I'm out of ammo. It is the Covenant Plasma Pistol. You can charge it by using a right click and left click. There you go. And I think it's, it's already exploded before I do that. I'm already here, thank you. Did I just throw the grenade? Ah, yeah, whatever. Okay, now it's time for the Elite Squadron to show up. Which will take a very short time to... If I'm not stuck in these boxes. Okay, on my first play, the Elite killed me with one hit from their melee weapon. So I'm going to avoid that outcome for this one. See? It's actually quite cheating, you know, the regeneration shield is very fast. How was using that? Maybe they got they also got shields on them. Anyway, that's it for mission one. Very easy, huh? Damn it! Can we get bonus XP please? On my first on my first try, I uh, didn't get this gold star, so it's actually another a new achievement for me. So we need this score boost after all. See, we get more rewards on the experience point. Maybe that's one of, one of the most important booster. Anyway, that's it for mission one. I'm going to I'm going to do one episode for for each mission, which means I'm going to end this one here right now. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you do, please feel free to leave a like and or leave a comment. If you want to see more videos that I've done, you can just go check on the annotations after this, or you can just subscribe to the channel. Thank you, and with that being said, I will see you guys later. We're going to study the historical battles in hopes of increasing your tactical skills for the future. As a bonus, it's a pretty fun game you can play in your spare time. <laughs>